close someone near and dear to my heart, a near the closest person to me, my wife, Aaliyah Sharif. love you all. I'm going to be sharing some pieces um, I wrote. One that was in particularly inspired by Mumia when I was only 12 years old. And it's a long piece, so I'm just going to say a little tiny bit of it because, you know, again, I was 12 years old. But I had said, I'm sorry, that's not what I does. I'm high off of life. This ink is my drug. I will admit sometimes I need a buzz, so I pass my songs out for street love. I'm sleepless, but got to keep up. I'm on the mission to free the innocent like Almumia. I got a story to tell. So I was 12 years old when I wrote that song. My mom is a part of Peace Action and Answer. And we were out here in San Francisco, I'm from Sacramento, we were out here in San Francisco marching for Mumia then. And something that that told me when I was a little girl was black men can be framed and be innocent and be imprisoned and we fight and we fight and we fight for the right. But for some reason, this situation is oftentimes forgotten. You know what I'm saying? So big up to all of yourselves for being out here, keeping Mumia's message alive, keeping his voice alive, keeping his name out here in the streets. Because with all this going on in the media, you know, I don't see one ABC camera or anything, you know what I'm saying, at this rally, which is definitely needed and called for. I mean, we are out here protesting like they would be anywhere else, you know what I'm saying? But in this case, trying to free somebody, you know what I mean? Being black in this country, and I speak from experience, I'm sorry, but I can't, you know, not talk about it. It is a situation where we've been conditioned to see brothers like Mumia and other political prisoners for years, and you know what I mean? Sometimes you get numb to the feeling of not knowing or not being able to actually help an innocent person that's being framed, you know what I'm saying? So um, this is my last piece that I will be doing, and it's a uh, reflection on being black in America, because it's a fact they scared of you, shoot you in your back, unaware if you strapped or not, they lay you flat, call it sneak attack. Public lynching is back with pure intentions to distract. Distorted facts presented, shifting your opinion so we won't react. But we ain't having that. We say Africa, Syria, Palestine to Iraq. We can't divide, we stay alive, because man, we gotta stay united. Clear signs, we living in the times where genocide and homicide is viral. All behind a dollar bill, the one a dollar sign that kills. And it kills, and it kills, and it kills. But you guys, the truth will always reveal. We say, free Mumia. Free Mumia. Free Mumia. It's important that we just keep talking about this, keep keeping the name alive, you know what I'm saying? Like my husband says, everyone can't do everything, but everyone can do something. So us being out here, we have to, you know what I'm saying, recognize the power in that, recognize the power we have to post, to spread the word, share the documentaries that have been filmed on, filmed on Mumia. This is an innocent man that is, that is behind bars, you know what I'm saying? We gotta free the innocent. Don't you agree? Yeah. Free them all. Peace and love.